Welcome back. CBO Code Buddy Online here with another question of the day, which asks Where are smoke and carbon monoxide alarms required in a dwelling? And when are they required to be hardwired versus battery operated? On this video, I will go over the California Residential Code requirements, which are similar to the International Residential Code. Now, regardless if your project is a remodel or an addition, or if you are constructing a new dwelling, Smoke alarms are required in the following areas. Within each sleeping room, outside each separate sleeping area in proximity of the bedrooms. Smoke alarms are also required on each story of the dwelling, including basements and habitable attics. If your dwelling has a split level without a door between both levels, then a smoke alarm is required on the upper split level. Now let us review areas where smoke alarms cannot be installed. Smoke alarms cannot be installed less than three feet from the door to a bathroom, which contains a bathtub or a shower. Nor can smoke alarms be installed within three feet of forced air heating or cooling supply registers, or less than 20 feet from a cooking appliance. There are some exceptions to the distance to cooking appliances. For example, ionization smoke alarms can be installed up to 10 feet, while photoelectric alarms can be installed no closer than six feet, but be sure to carefully look through the manufacturer's specifications and exceptions for further specifics. All new smoke alarms are required to be interconnected and hardwired with battery backup. The smoke alarms must also emit a sound when the battery is low. However, you do not need to interconnect and hardwire these devices if you are only doing exterior surface repairs or alterations, such as re-roofs, siding work, window and door changeouts, or the construction of porch and decks. You also don't need to interconnect or hardwire these devices if you are doing work that is limited to the installation, alteration, or repairs of plumbing or mechanical systems. Installation, alteration, or repair of electrical systems are also exempt from interconnecting and hardwiring smoke alarms. However, if such work results in the removal of interior wall or ceiling finishes, then you will have to interconnect and hardwire the smoke alarms. These are the most frequent exceptions, however, please look at some of the other exceptions available in the residential code to your local jurisdiction. Moving on to carbon monoxide alarms. All new dwellings and alterations additions to existing dwellings require the installation of carbon monoxide alarms when the following conditions apply. If the dwelling has an attached garage, which is open to the dwelling, and or if the dwelling has fuel burning appliances. The dwelling then shall be provided with carbon monoxide alarms in these scenarios. When carbon monoxide alarms are required, they are required in the following locations. Outside of each separate sleeping area in proximity to bedrooms, on every occupiable level of the dwelling unit including basements, a carbon monoxide alarm is also required within a bedroom if the bedroom or its attached bathroom has a fuel burning appliance. Here's an example of this scenario. Well, folks, this does it for this question of the day. I hope it helps you. Until next time, stay focused and positive. Take care.